go with that, Paul. How about we should, let's just focus again to, to education for a couple of minutes. And uh, a, lot of people, a lot of the reports I get about ed public education in Georgia, what you read in the papers, is just so much negativity, our, our rankings, whatever. But I, as, an ed as a former school teacher and as an educator at heart, I like to look at the positive side. And I'm just going to ask y'all to weigh in in general, if you will, with where are we with education in Georgia and what can, what can you do in the House, what can you do in the Senate, what can we do in the General Assembly to help make sure that that Georgia children are receiving the best possible public education that they can get. Senator, I'll start with you if I may. Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, I always, I always preface education by telling people and, and everybody that knows this that education is economic development, especially in our rural parts of our state. And when uh, industries look to come to our, our local areas or our counties or our cities, you know, they ask certain questions, and one of the questions they ask are, or about your K-12 education system. They asked about the, the higher education system that you have, whether that be technical education or that be college education, and, and what you can provide them. So obviously education is very important uh, to our citizens. It's very important to the state. It's very important for economic development, <coughs> especially in, in all, all areas of the state, all of, of our state and in our communities. Um, so, you know, I, I continue to make the, the, the statement of the promise over during my campaign last year and continuously this year, especially when I talk to teacher groups, uh, you know, one of the things that always gets brought up regarding education is the funding aspect of it. And, and many of you may know, some of you may not know, but about 53% of our state budget uh, is solely directed and dedicated to education in the state of Georgia. Uh, and, you know, that that's a large chunk of the budget. So, obviously, when the state went through some difficult times during the recession area a couple of years ago, uh, education took a large hit um, just just because it is it makes up the primary uh, one of the primary responsibilities of our budgetary process and it being over 50 percent of our budget. Uh, but over the last couple of years, the legislature and, and, and even this year, we've continued to make improvements in that area, making sure that we're continuing to help try to put money back in there as much as we can over the years. Uh, and that's been my continued uh, promise and effort is, is as a legislator is to making sure that we're continuing to put funding back in education when we can and as revenues increase. And, and over the last couple of months, I'm sure some of you have probably seen some of the revenue increases that we've had. Uh, we have had some revenue increases over the last couple of months, and we're going to do what we can to make sure that that money goes to where it needs to be. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's not only our K-12 systems that are important uh, as far as education, but our, our technical education is important in the state of Georgia, making sure that have people that are work ready and that we have folks that are willing and ready uh, to have those technical skills uh, to, to do the jobs that our businesses and industries are looking for when they come to our communities, as well as have that higher education in, in, as far as a college education is concerned. So uh, education uh, is a top prior, priority, I would say, of the legislature, and I think every legislature, legislator you would talk to uh, knows that education is, is very important to our community. <coughs> Appreciate those comments. Thank you. Sure. Um, 